Shalom, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash, the Baran, to the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations unto the elect of the nation of Israel. And peace and salutations unto these speckled bird Israelites that look like the heathen nations that are scattered across the four corners of the earth. So y'all say Shalom. And Shalom to all you brothers and sisters that may be listening and learning to these videos. And Shalom to all you brothers that are out there on the highways and byways doing the work of the Lord these last days. Trying to wake up the elect. I'm um, coming back at y'all with another quick video, you know. But I also want to mention um, that this video is only for the Israelites. And the Israelites are who you call black people, Hispanic, Native American, Cubans, Mexicans, Jamaicans, Haitians, Guatemalans, to Panamanian, uh, Panamanians, uh, Seminole Indians. Those are Israelites. Always have been and always will be. And that's who the world that calls Jesus and the ignorance. Who He died for the Israelites only. He didn't die for all people. He's not coming back to save all people, contrary to popular belief. His name is Yahweh Shah, and who the world and really calls God, his name is Yahweh, right? And he chose the Israelites to be a people unto himself. But come back at y'all with this quick video on uh, Russell uh, Westbrook, you know, because this is an abomination to the Lord, man. This is a, a, a skirt he got on. You know, and uh, if you're watching this video and if you know what's, you know what took place yesterday or last night, you know, Esau has this award thing called uh, the Met Gala, you know, which I don't really know what it is, but, you know, I ain't never watched it or anything like that. I don't even think I even really heard about it until I came into the truth, but, you know, I, I know it's like a big fashion show type type deal, you know, and this is, this is an abomination. And this ain't the first time he has done this, man, you know. This is what they want to push on you, Jakes, man. You know, you Jakes that want to, you Jakes that want to be like Esau. You want to be an Edomite. You know, you want to get rich in this world. You want to be on the same level as Esau. And this is what the Lord said, man. Because, you know, there's a reason why he's uh he's he's got that uh skirt on. You know, that's a skirt, man. We ain't supposed to be wearing that. That's, you wicked, man. You know, this is Proverbs the third chapter in the thirty first verse. It says, "Envy thou not the oppressor." And choose none of his ways. And clearly, clearly, Russell Westbrook. <laughs> that's funny, man. You know, they've been calling him that, man. You know, <laughs> certain people. But, I mean, his name is Russell Westbrook. But, you know, that's crazy because, you know, um, he did this a couple of months ago. He had on, like, a whole woman's, woman's uh, outfit, man. He had on a whole woman's outfit, and uh, and I think it, it was for the same the same uh, thing like they had going on the Met Gala, whatever it was called. And uh, you know, ever since uh, he did that, like me speaking as a man, like he ain't been the same. You know, if y'all don't know who he is, he's a basketball player. You know, he's in the NBA and whatnot, professional uh, basketball league. You know. But ever since, like I said, me speaking as a man, ever since he did that, like, he ain't been the same. <laughs> you know, ever since he put on that dress a couple of months back or maybe it was a year ago or I don't, I don't know how long ago, really. But ever since he did that, like, he has not been the same player, man. He has not been. You know, I think, you know, why well, I know, you know, hey, when you try to basically go against what the Lord has set up for you as an Israelite, Man or woman, hey, the Lord, hey, he gonna, he gonna start plaguing you, man. You know, just cause he's a celebrity or he's famous, hey, man, the Lord, the Lord's gonna get you too. You know. Let's get this in the Book of Deuteronomy, the twenty-second chapter, the fifth verse, because as a man, that that's off, man. And if a woman had, you know, on a uh, a man's garment, that's off too. You know. But let's get this in the Book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-two and verse five. It says, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Right? So, hey, hey, Russell West, Russell Westbrook is an abomination to the Lord. Right? It don't matter if he got money. It don't matter, you know, if he's famous, he got fans, you know, he can play basketball. Hey, the Lord don't give a damn about that, man. <laughs> You know, the Lord don't care about that, man. The Lord don't care about how good you can play basketball. 
All right, good. You could dribble the ball down the court and cross somebody and dunk on some. Hey, the Lord don't care, man. You know, if you're not serving, you how about you have a shot at spirit and the truth? You're not going to make it. That's just period, point blank, man. You know, and first and foremost, we're still in captivity, right? Which, like I said, he's he's a uh, Israelite that has status in the society. You know, he's uh rich and whatnot, so called. You know. But in the spirit, he's not rich. He's poor in the spirit because he's not, if he knows he's an Israelite, he's not preaching it. He's not announcing it. He's not, he's not, uh, he's not basically, uh, letting his light shine. Like it says in the book of Matthews, you know, he ain't doing that. You know, it, that's if he knows he's an Israelite, which I would say that he knows. You know, I would, I would think that he knows, but he's not c coming out to profess it and proclaim it. And, uh. You know, for the most part, hey, you know, if you're an Israelite and you have, you, you've gained riches, you've gained substance in this society, you, you're not going to serve the Lord like that, man. For the most part. I'm not, I'm not saying if, you know, you come into some money or, you know, you come into some things that's going to help benefit you and your family that you can't serve the Lord. No, you know, it's possible. But for the most part, once you're on a certain level, man, you're just not going to. It's going to be kind of hard, man, for you to say the Lord, man. You know, be fully persuaded and be fully focused on the Lord because you got all this money. Right? Um, but I want to bring out the book of, let me get Jeremiah, what was it, 2 and 21? Right, 2 and 21. Let's get that real quick. It says, um, yet I had planted the noble vine, which noble, noble is somebody who's, uh, like a prince or a king or a, um, what's the right word? A magistrate. Somebody who's in a position of power and, and royalty. They, they're royal, right? Because the Lord chose us to be a special people, right? It says, holy a right seed, right? It says, um, how then are thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me, right? How do we turn into this, man? This ain't even funny, man. Even if it's supposed to be a joke, Hey man, you, you this you know Russell Westbrook has a lot of people, a lot of our people you know that look up to him, man. Cause we don't care about the heathens, we don't care about y'all other nations, but you know, and he's not a prophet or anything like that. But hey, you still as an Israelite, you still held accountable. It don't matter what your your what your position is in this world, man. You held accountable for what you do, you know, what you uh promote to other Israelites, man. As an Israelite man, man, you ain't supposed to be doing this, man. You know, and uh, he got kids and stuff, man. So, you know, your kids see this, they're going to think they can do it, you know. That's just as bad as the the Wayne Wade flaming son, man. And the Wayne Wade, he, he a Fruity Loop too, man. You know, he a Fruity Loop too, man. Because you, if you be paying attention to the way the Wayne Wade be dressing, man, that's, yeah. It's obviously he didn't got somebody went up his back door, man. Somebody went up his back door, man. You know, it's obvious, you know. But you know, when you get to like, when you get to a certain level, you know, you, you got to do things to to maintain and, and uh, keep your position, right? I want to get this in uh, the book of First Timothy, chapter six, and verse. Uh, I'm gonna get verse nine. It says, uh, "But they that be rich will fall into temptation and a snare." Right and. He has fell into temptation and a snare, right? What's your snare is a trap, right? Because he's he shot get that money, he shot get that bread, you know. This says, and to many foolish and hurtful lust, which drown men into destruction and perdition. All right, and like I said, I guarantee you, he had to wear that, you know, or well not that he had to, but like he wore that because a paycheck comes behind it, you know. When Jake's be doing that, man, uh, what's as an actor that did something like that recently, um. Lakeith Stanfield, like he played the actor on uh Judas and Messiah, Judas and the Black Messiah. He was the one that basically, uh, you see in the movie, he was the one that was basically, you know, snitch, you know, giving Esau the inside scoop of what was going on, you know. And he got a picture of himself with some stockings on and, the, and a skirt and a dress. I'm like, well, what the, like, Jake is gone, man, you know, Jake is gone. And this is why. This is uh, verse 10. It's for these uh, celebrities in this world that are, that are jakes, man. It says, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Right? For the love of it. Not not 
birdie, birdie is not evil itself, but it's you chasing after it, right? And you putting it above you, how about shooting that with shot? It says, for while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows, right? And Russell Westbrook has erred from the way of faith. He has erred from the ways of righteousness, you know, and he don't know what righteousness is. He think what he's doing is, is righteous, you know? You know, this, this whole culture, this, this whole lifestyle of being who you are and, you know, uh, you being able to, you know, change uh, your your appearance, and, you know, do all these weird things, just to switch your room, man, like double dutch, you know, that's that's what the Lord told, that's, that's probably what Wes Westbrook believes in, man, because if he believes that he wore this, you know, this uh, skirt, you know, like a female, what else does he believe, man, you know? Let's get this in the book of Isaiah, um, chapter 5 and verse 20, right? It says, Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, and that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, and that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. You see that? And, you know, this, like I said, this whole culture of, you know, uh, exploring yourself and, you know, um, you be you 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 be you, you know, and having nobody tell you what to do and what you can and can't do, and all this all this weirdo stuff, man. That's not that's not how the Lord designed us as Israelites, man. You know, He designed us to be above everybody, man. You choosing this, you choosing death, man. You know, let's get this in the book of uh, First John, chapter three. And let me get verse 19. Um, hold on, that's not it. It's John 3 and 19. It says, And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Right. And, hey, Russell Westbrick, man, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep saying his name like that because that's what he's been doing the whole season, you know. But this video is, you know, it's about, you know, the 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 the, uh, the 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 degeneracy of our people, man, and how low they have become, man. Just to get a piece of the pie, man, that Esau has, man. Just a little piece, you know. You willing to do any and everything to get something, to, you know? It's a it's a get fame and, and, and the notoriety, man. That's that's evil, man. That's wicked, you know. Um, hold on, I'm gonna get this. Try to see if I can find this in the book of uh, Jeremiah. I found this, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, and <clears throat> verse 28, it says, They are waxing fat, they shine, yea, they they overpass the deeds of the wicked, which is Esau Eden, the so-called white nation. It says, They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper, and the right of the needy do they not judge. So, you know, a lot of our people, man, a lot of you jakes, man, y'all not, y'all not speaking for righteousness. Y'all not magnifying Yahweh Bashem Yahweh You know, you, you don't want to turn to your Israelite heritage, man. You, you, you surpass the deeds of the wicked. And they are the nation specifically that was designed and created to be the wicked. That's, you know, that's mind-blowing, man. You know, at least, at least West, Russell Westbrook repents, man. You know, and he's going to die, man, and, and his family, man. You know, because the you know the Lord, you know the Lord deals with the uh, Israelite men. All right, let's get that. Right, you know, the Lord the Lord is dealing with the Israelite men. It says on um, Proverbs chapter eight verse four. It says unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. Right, I'm gonna read verse six. I mean uh, verse five. It says, O you simple, understand wisdom, and you fools, be ye of an under be ye of an understanding heart, right? 
Do you think Russell Westbrook wants to be on an understanding heart? The, the man can't even take orders on the basketball court. What makes you think that he's going to listen to the, to the prophets of the Lord, man? <laughs> you know, I, I'm just throwing that, you know, throwing certain things in there, man, you know, because I pay attention to the NBA and, and stuff like that. But, hey, I, I'm looking for the kingdom to come. I'm looking for your Howard Shot to return. I'm looking for the prophecies to pop up, man, you know. That's just something I, I pay attention to the NBA, but I don't really, I don't really care like that at all, really. But I do watch it from time to time, you know. But um, yeah, man, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the privacy to pop off, man. The MOTB to um be instituted, be mandated, man. Take a trouble coming, man. You know, the famine to be here, man. That's what I'm looking for, man. You know, I I don't care about no Russell Westbrook, but I just came across, you know. Uh, brothers talking about the, the Met Gala, they, you know, these weirdo outfits, and I came across Russell Westbrook because he's an Israelite, you know. He's obviously a Jake. He has the talent. He has the skill sets, you know. He's a Jake, man. You know, he got he got style where he's not on this weird, you know, weird stuff, man, you know. Because the Lord said, uh, what the, the Lord said that we are the salt of the earth, right? That's what the Lord said. He said we are the salt of the earth. Perfect. This is uh, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 13. It says, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salty? Right. Where, where is it going to be salty? Where is, where is it going to benefit it if you don't have it? Right. It says, It is this thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be tried under foot of men. You see that? And that's really talking about the wisdom of and the study of the scriptures, man. You know, if we don't have that, hey, what, what's the, what is our purpose? What is our point? You know, you know, like Jake, Jake loved being under Esau, man. You know, Jake, Jake loved trying to envy Esau, trying to be like him, you know, and I'm going to get this uh, in the book of Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah, the 10th chapter. And I think it's the first, first verse, because this is what happens when you try to follow the ways of the heathen, right? It says, um, I'm going to get, get verse one and I'm going to read verse two. It says, Hear ye the word which Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus if Yahweh learn not the ways of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. You see that? So this is what happened, you know, when you when you try to seek for riches of this world, when you try to be on the sun level as Esau, when, when this is his world, the Lord gave this world to him for our disobedience. You know, it's temporary, you know. But that's what's, that's what's going on right now, man. We don't have no power over what's going on. The Lord is in control. You have our small size in control. But this is what happens when, you know, like I said, you want to chase after money. You want to chase after fame. You know, you want to be like just, just like the man that's in the that's in the power seat right now, which is Esau, even the wicked, you know, the so-called white nation, you know, where you want to be like the heathen nations. This is what you're going to look like, a, a, a damn fool. You know, the heathens, they're supposed to be going off. You know what I'm saying? They not the, they not the Israelites. That's not who the, the Lord is dealing with. You know, really right now the Lord is only dealing with the remnant, the elect, the nation of Israel. You know, and I would say, like I said, speaking as a man, I would say for the most part, I would uh, I would say that Russell Westbrook is not a part of the elect. He's a two third. You know. But uh, I'm gonna close out. I'm gonna give all praises, all honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kagadash, the bars of the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the elect. I'm going to say, wow, blah, 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 shalom.